my hairless scrotums. Today we have something a little different for a theory video. This isn't a Jack and Daxter fan theory episode. This is something a little different. It's like a collaboration I'm doing with Mr. Ninja ONC here. I'm pronouncing your name right, right? Right, right, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, do you want to say something about yourself there? And, um... um, yeah, hi. I make videos about Jack and Daxter and Ratchet and Clank like theories and fact videos and stuff. Game theory, but just for those two franchises, basically. Basically, if you like what we do here, you'll love uh, his channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Please go check it out. Subscribe if you want. And uh, yeah, it's if you like Jack and you like Ratchet and you like what we do over here, you'll love what he does over there. So yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Basically, uh, if you haven't seen the first video, I recommend watching that first or else you're going to be completely lost in this. So uh, click there right now on the screen to go, uh, go straight to that video. And if you're on phones or tablets or TVs or whatever, go to the description. And if you're on a TV, you're fucked. Just go to the computer and watch on a computer. Right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but this is the second part of Crew's life. In the other video, we pretty much went over Crew's early life where I made a complete arse of talking about his early life. Well, I think I got something out of it. And now we're gonna have um, Ninja go on about um, what, what he does after this and how crew obsession with food grows and grows. Alright, so, <laughs> after crew has come into ownership of the bar and he's continued to gorge himself and gamble for more food and he's just like, he, he's as big as the screen in all the cutscenes now, um, one day he <laughs> happens to come across a metalhead corpse. How it got there is not important, the fact is, it's there. And he decided to, being the food addict he is, cook it and eat it and then he had this sudden moment of like realization where it was like oh my god metalhead flesh is like the best food in the world um so at some point after that he stumbles upon sig a mercenary type person who's looking for work um and crew offers him a job he pays sig to go out and hunt for metalheads and metalheads in the wasteland but believes that um and sig believes that crew wants the trophies from them so obviously you see them all mounted on the wall um but in actual fact crew has developed a uh an addiction to metalhead flesh what sig doesn't realize is actually happening is sig is killing the metalhead and when he's on his way back crew is actually on his little hover cart thing flying out of the bath through him through the big hole in the ceiling that you never realise is there because Jack can't look up for some reason. Um, because obviously if you looked up the way the game works, you'd actually be looking through the ground. Exactly. And uh, he then, before Sig gets back, flies to the corpse, brings it back to the bar, cooks it and eats it. And as his weight increases, he never burns any calories because he always sat in his chair and never actually do anything, uh, never have to do any exercise. So he just gets, he's just continuing to get bigger and bigger and bigger. He'd probably look a bit more like a normal human if he actually did some exercise. Um, he's keeping the trophies on the wall so that Sig and Tess, Tess being the bar worker who secretly actually makes all of his weapons for him, um, doesn't get suspicious. And uh, the reason, um, oh, and so that Tess thinks he wants all the metal heads dead because they are a menace to Haven City and all that, and not because he will do anything for food. Um, and the reason he hasn't died due to morbid obesity is because the green glowy gems on his bracelet actually contain just enough green eco to act as a sort of life support or something can keep him going. And when he saw the precursor stone, he thought, ah, that must just be a massive green eco crystal, and knew that if it was actually just full of green, green eco, it would let him live forever and eat all of the metalheads. And if he ate all of the metal heads, he'd go on to become the hero of all the games and all that. Um, be fun to, it'd be fun if the final boss involved eating core. Uh, so wow. he just goes along with the whole like big gem of ultimate destruction thing to keep it away from other people, not realising that what they were saying was actually true. Um, and... Uh, yeah, he thought... He, he made the piercer bomb to try and crack it open so he could, I guess, like refill his bracelet or something with green eco. I'm not entirely sure how eco works, but it's a liquid now. Um, and eventually Sig begins to side with Jack 
and begins to think the crew's a bit more evil than he originally thought. So crew knows he needs to pay Sig more to make him be more driven to work for him. So he turns to Jack and like, um, yo, lose this race <laughs> so I'll get loads of money from the bet. Because of, as we established in the first part, he used his massive weapons collection to um, encourage people to rig bets. So, as we know if you've played the game, spoiler alert if you haven't, Jack doesn't lose the race. So now, Crew has no, not enough money to keep paying Sig, he can't have any more, um, kind of any more metal heads, so he's all sad and then goes angry and tries to kill Jack. Um, Such a touching story. And, what? Such a touching story. Yeah. Uh, what no one actually realises as well, is that the whack-a-mole sort of game in the bar with the metal heads actually contains real metal heads and you are tenderising them so crew can eat them easier because obviously he doesn't want to do not be burning his calories because I don't know because he's morbid obese and likes being that way um, so can I, I just want to apologise that the noise in the background it seems whenever I record people just like to go around slamming doors every door they can find so sorry about that <laughs> Um, and that's why you don't play it until the end of the game, because then you've killed loads of metalheads. <laughs> <sighs> until you've killed loads of metalheads, and then there's actually more stuff to hit. And that's my part of the theory that leads you from the start of Jack 2 to the end. <laughs> uh, that that's my part of the theory that takes you from basically the entire duration of Jack Two, and yeah, I guess that ends up the cruise. Theory, um, so back over up, to you. Right up the cruise. Um, very unfortunate demise. Um, when Jack kills him in cold blood, that was a, the, the ridiculous crew. Um, how he got so fat. Theory slash story slash completely 100% canon thing um I have no idea what I'm saying someone needs to stop me before I completely ruined the rest of this video um, yeah so I guess if we're finished um thanks for having me I also exist I have a channel too there's a there'll probably be a link to the other video in the description uh, while I have you all, the one and a half person watching this video, um, uh, I just want to do an update for the Jack Tree Let's Play, which is still alive. I haven't left it. I know it's been like two months since I've done it, but I'm stuck on the gun course and I'm not uploading every single try to the gun course because if I uploaded every single try to the gun course, the gun, the fucking Let's Play would be at episode 569,000. So just bear with me. I'm still. I got to 9,000 points of the 11,000 points last night and I'm getting closer. Slowly but surely. I uh, I need a lot of mental help with this game though, so you, you should you should just do like a, a special episode and it should do like a half an hour long montage of all of the like you lose screens. I, I was gonna do that, but then my hard drive filled up and I had nowhere to store the footage. So I had to compromise. <laughs> um but yeah that's uh, uh Jack Tree no going to still coming. I'm sorry for the delays and um, the delays in general while the videos I've been a bit busy lately um but yeah that's that I hope you enjoyed the videos um please go um check out Mr. Ninja ONC's channel I'll leave the link in the description subscribe the, 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 in the description and um yeah you could go and check him out and look at his videos very interesting videos and uh yeah go support god old ninja um so yeah is there anything else you want to say before we end this um, nothing in particular just thanks for having me on the channel thanks to everyone who watched both videos if you haven't go and watch the other one i guess <laughs> uh don't really know why you're at the end of part two and you haven't watched part one yet but yeah they, they like to live on the edgy teens we'll do that Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching again, and uh, we said thanks for watching a million times and goodbye a million times, so I think it's time for the this time to end it. I'm going to end this before I have my... <laughs> I can't talk. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Goodbye.